Hi! Git Duck is a video chat tool built for software teams that enables you to talk and collaborate in real time directly from your IDE and independently of what IDE other people are using. That's right, you could be coding with Writer and your colleague using Visual Studio Code. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Git Duck on Writer and join a coding session for the first time. By the way, be sure to have a Git Duck account and be part of a team. Open Writer and go to Preferences and then Plugins. Search for Git Duck and install it. By the way, after it's installed you might need to restart your IDE. Now you should be able to see here at the bottom right of your IDEs the option to log in on GitDuck. Click there so you can link your IDEs with your GitDuck account. Great! Now everything is connected and you are ready to join a coding session. On GitDuck, join a call by going to your team URL. Once you are on a GitDuck call, you will see here at the bottom right of your IDE that GitDuck identified that you are on a call and you can start sharing your code. Let's click that button. Yes, now you are sharing your code. Any file that you open will be automatically shared with anyone that joins your call and they will be able to edit your shared files in real time. If you go to the GitDuck app, you will see that your code is being shared there, so even if your colleagues don't have the GitDuck plugin installed in their IDE, they could also be collaborating with you. If they have the plugin installed in their IDE, independently of what IDE they use, they would be able to do pair programming with you. Let me show you the options that you have with GitDuck. At the top you can see the files that are opened by the people on the session. Below you can see the, the shared file system. With GitDuck you can share a specific file, multiple folders or the entire project. After that, you can see who is on the coding session with you. The last section contains the buttons to share a folder, the project or to stop sharing. You can also exit the coding session by leaving the call or clicking on the GitDuck button at the bottom right of your IDE. Another option that you have is to be able to follow a developer. If you are following someone, you are going to be seeing every file they open or every time they navigate their code. That's all you need to know to share your code in real time with GitDuck and Writer. Thanks for watching.